Hello, Mrs. Bogle. How can I help you today? Wah, 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 wah. Father Ben, I appreciate you wearing a mask. You can talk normally, though. I can hear you just fine. Oh, really? Oh, it does work. It's not so bad. What can I do for you today, Father? Hey, I've got some questions for you, Mrs. Bogle. All right. First thing. Now, will the students, when they come back for school, will they be wearing masks like this? They will be wearing masks. All the teachers and our students, whenever we're together around one another, will be wearing masks. Do you think that their masks will be as fancy as my mask? I certainly hope so. So, I've had some questions about what kind of masks are okay. Your mask can have any design. We would just like it to loop around your ears so that it doesn't have to be tied, and it should cover your nose and your mouth. Okay, what if, you know, sometimes I can be forgetful, what if I were to forget my mask? That's okay, we have some extra masks, so if something happens to your mask, or you forget your mask, we'll have some here at school that we can give you. Okay, what if it comes time for recess? Do I have to wear my mask at recess? When we are outside playing and can give everybody some personal space, we'll be able to take our masks off. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, so my question for you is, will we be still doing some of the specials? Like, for example, music. How are we gonna sing? We're not allowed to sing right now. So we're trying not to sing right now, that's true, but there's a lot of things that you can do musically that don't require singing. Oh, like percussion? Absolutely. So Mrs. Vole has some great music lessons planned. Mrs. Garvey will be teaching art. Mrs. Garvey will be staying home, but she's gonna video her lessons mm. in, and Mrs. Tomzak will be teaching art. Okay. Her. So that'll be super fun. Now I heard like a rumor going around that the YMCA is going to be offering us a special curriculum. They are. So the YMCA is going to come once a week and teach each class an exercise or a lesson on exercise and nutrition. So they'll cover topics like healthy eating, different ways to exercise, but also some of their extracurricular programs. So they'll show us a little bit of what they do for gymnastics. We might experience some Taekwondo. Whoa. And the best thing is, is all of our specials will still be available for our friends learning at home. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, so I know that as I look at this classroom, it's set up a little different. There's a little space between each spot. There are. The teachers worked really hard and maintenance worked really hard over the summer. And we've arranged the classrooms so there's about two carpet squares, which is four feet between the desks. And for this year, just to follow all the guidelines, we'll all be facing the same direction. Okay. So we're gonna have some little changes here and there. So for example, are we all gonna to touch the drinking fountain? No, we'll still have the drinking fountains available with a sign to help us remember, but we'd like everybody to bring a water bottle. Oh, you've got a fancy water bottle. I like fancy things. <laughs> Make sure you write your name on your water, bo water bottle, and then we'll have adults assist with filling up the water bottles. Okay, when do our students get to find out who their teachers are. I know that's a big question right now. So this Sunday is the Sunday before we start school. I know, normally we would have a back to school mass and then an open house. So this Sunday we're not having the big event, but we will be sending out an email after the 1030 mass that tells you who your teacher is. That'll, there'll be a link to your teacher's webpage where you'll see a video greeting from your homeroom teacher. Okay. Now for those learning from home, yes, are they gonna miss out on your announcements? No, they're not. I will still be recording morning announcements so that our Panthers oh. at home get the full experience. Well, what if you're a student at home and you get stuck on a problem or on homework and you've got a question for your teacher but they're not right there? Absolutely. So if your class is using Google Classroom, grades four and up, you'll be able to use Google Classroom to get that question to your teacher. Student, younger students, you'll be able to have your parents' email. Okay, okay, so it sounds like you've really put a lot of thought into all this. Uh, our whole team has put a lot of thought <laughs> into a lot of this, but you know what, it's new, and we know we're gonna learn as we go, so we can't wait to just solve problems with you guys and have a lot of fun together when we come back. I can tell you as the priest, I've been hearing all these plans of how we're going to keep things clean and we want to keep things just as positive here this year as we possibly can. But my last question would be, are we going to have fun at school this year? We are. Are we going to go to Mass? We are going to go to Mass. 
Are we gonna still laugh? We're still gonna laugh. We're still gonna have fun. We're still gonna have fun. And you're all gonna get to meet me, your new priest. And we all get to meet Father Ben, our new priest. Uh, I look forward to, to seeing many of you in the upcoming days. See you soon. God bless.